Hi, I'm Andre and I'm a black nerd. And for some of you, maybe you're going up to high school and you're gonna finally get your own room in your house. Or you're graduating high school and you're going off to college, getting your own dorm room. Or maybe you're graduating college and you're getting your first place as a young adult for the first time. So with the help of Best Buy, who is partnering with me in this video, I did a little shopping spree. A little college slash graduation shopping spree. And compare that to some of the things that I had when I went to college that's related but definitely different than what you would have. So this is a college tech and gaming today versus college tech and gaming in the 90s video. Let's just say 90s. First off, you're gonna need a computer. So I got one here, brand new from Best Buy. This is a brand new computer they just came out with. Gaming computer, Republic of Gamers. And it's pretty slick. This is the brand new Asus Gaming Laptop with AMD Ryzen 7 processor. Like I said, AMD Ryzen 7 processor, NVIDIA GeForce GTX graphics card, even is virtual reality ready compared to what I had. I could not find what I had because I think what I have no longer exists. I actually did a video a while back where I showed all the different types of computers I used to work with when I was younger. But yeah, man, if you want to get on a computer, you can now just have it in your room. Whereas I would have to go to a computer lab where they had a string of Sun computers. I don't even know if people even know that that's a brand, Sun. And this one's probably Windows, mine was Linux. Luckily, computer labs on my campus were 24 hours, but that was the thing. If it was like two, three o'clock in the morning and you realize you need to make a change before you get to your 8 a.m. class, I would have to put on the PJs, walk over to the computer lab and work real late to try to get that project done. Don't regret the experience, just, you know, that's how it was. And when I did finally get a computer in my home, what was it, like a compact Presario? Definitely not one as powerful as this. You have to have a video game console, like a PlayStation 4 or a Nintendo Switch or Xbox One. Might even put one of these with it, a Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Pro Performing Gaming Headset. That's pretty cool. Back in the day, uh, my gaming headset didn't exist because we didn't have gaming headsets. Be lucky to even find a place to plug in a headset in older consoles. So yeah, let's say you live in a college dorm and your roommate doesn't want to hear your video games, you put one of these in and you get to go. Uh, that was not the case. You would either have to mute your television or your roommate would just have to deal or he would have to go to the computer lab. <laughs> Nintendo Switch is a good one, of course, because it's something that's portable as well as doesn't take a lot of space when it's in your place. That's a little bit different than what I had because if you wanted to play Nintendo at home or portable, you had to get two different systems. In my dorm, I had the Nintendo 64. I didn't even have the one with special colors. I had the straight black one. And if you want to play Nintendo on the go back in the day, you got Tetris 99, I got Tetris 1 or 2 if you get that cable that you can use to connect two Game Boys together. <laughs> It worked. And while some of you might have a PlayStation 4 in your dorm room, in mine, my roommate had a PlayStation 1. So I had a Nintendo 64, he had a PlayStation 1. That was actually how I saw games like Tomb Raider or Final Fantasy 7. It was from watching him play PlayStation 1. You probably have noticed by now that this is not an original PlayStation 1, but a PlayStation Classic. I got the PlayStation Classic from Best Buy. It was actually harder to find a PlayStation 1. It was actually easier to find a PlayStation Classic. And it's also was cheaper. Like really easy to find a cheaper. I still remember you, baby. I miss you so much. Let's talk about movies. You know, when you have that downtime, you've done all your classes, you wanna watch some movies, of course. You're probably able to download or rent some digitally. I would go to my local video store, five for five, five days, five movies, as long as they weren't new releases. Or I'd go to my local Blockbuster, rest in peace. Our movies, of course, came on video cassette. <laughs> Now at Best Buy, they've been doing this limited edition steelbook things. I got the Toy Story trilogy, all in steelbooks with original art there, really cute. Wreck-It Ralph, I was able to get a steelbook. I got all the Marvel captains. I got Captain America First Avenger, Captain America Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, Captain Marvel. You get special steelbook editions at Best Buy, your favorite movies. Back in the day, you would get clamshells. <laughs> So that's how you knew your movie was tight. You would have a little clamshell going on there. Big giant clamshell versus the steel book. I don't know which one I kind of like more, actually, to be honest with you. They both kind of work for me. So these are your turtles of today hanging out with Batman. And these are your turtles from back in the day hanging out on stage. But sometimes the old school and the new school can come together. For example, at Best Buy, I found a steel book 4K copy of Godzilla. 
Not Godzilla King of the Monsters. Not Godzilla 2014. I'm talking about that 90s Matthew Broderick. That's a lot of fish. Godzilla. Best Buy had a steel book of that movie. New school, old school. Meet each other. Well, let's say you have a favorite television show. You probably can binge watch it through your streaming services or you can buy things like this. Like this is Avatar, The Last Airbender, the complete series on Blu-ray. Got Spectacular Spider-Man, the entire series on DVD. I probably should watch these because everyone keeps telling me I need to watch every episode of these cartoons. Maybe I will. But these are the complete series on DVD, on Blu-ray. Look what I had to do to watch Power Rangers. Here is the five part Green Ranger miniseries on five separate VHS cassettes. One episode, one episode of Power Rangers on a video cassette. You get an entire box set of the entire Power Rangers series, but back in the day, one cassette, one episode. But that's watching movies. Let's say you want to make movies, like one of these, uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black. I already took this one out of the package because I already used it. I took this with me on my trip to Norway where I used this to record my first ever zip line, which I made a video of on this channel as well. Oh my God! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, totally didn't freak out at all. But yeah, you can record 4K 60 frames per second on this versus, <laughs> this is my Hi8 camera. A little bit bigger, uh, it takes Hi8 tapes that you have to purchase to put inside of it. It's got a battery that I think lasts a good half an hour. But hey, a lens cap, keep your lens safe. That's nice. Pop that back on there. No dust getting in there. Here is the Tango X Smart Home Printer. It's all wireless, so you can have it print something from your phone, from your tablet, from your computer. It can also scan or copy from any device. This is how big the printer is. I can hold it in one hand. It even works with smart home devices, so if you have Amazon Alexa, tell Amazon Alexa to print something for you, and then the HP Tango X Smart Home Printer prints it. That is not how it worked for me. <laughs> Again, back to the computer lab. If you wanna print something out, now at least the computer labs had some really nice printers. Those really big printers that would just print stuff out really quickly. Love those. Uh, before that, have you ever seen the paper that's always like in a long connected sheet and they have little strips on the side with holes in them? Because they used to have printers where they would have little pegs on the side and you would try to line those holes up to the pegs and then that's how the paper would go through the printer because your printer printed line by line and it would go like this. Imagine trying to print out a multiple page document like that. So a little different than this. So that's really cool. That's the printer. That's it. That's neat. But there are some things I found at Best Buy that are actually very similar to things that I had growing up. For example, you know, you can still buy a CD boom box at Best Buy. <laughs> I gotta thank Lamar Wilson for this one because he told me about this. He actually made a video about it. So here's a funny story about the CD boom box. I actually used a boom box almost exactly like this when I made my first music video on YouTube, Buy Me A Week. So what I did was I made the song, I put the song on one of these, a CDR, and then I played it on a CD boom box, and then I would just lip sync to the song as it was playing to the boom box on one of these types of cameras versus a digital camera. <laughs> it actually wasn't this one, it was a mini DV camera, but still, had a tape. So this is what made my first video content. <laughs> Thanks, Best Buy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, I mean, it is. this one is almost exactly like the boom box I had back in the day. I don't think it was an Insignia, it was another brand, but it looks pretty much exactly like this. Oh my gosh. That is great. A boom box can change the world. Also, when I was in college, I had one of these. This is a portable CD player, but of course I had the Walkman, the Discman. I remember actually having, uh, I think I got it from Nintendo Power, the CD soundtrack for Super Mario 64. I vividly remember walking around from my college dorm to my next class with one of these on my ears, holding my Discman, playing the Super Mario 64 soundtrack. Or 
Or of course, that's what I'd be listening to walking around college campus. I was a dork. And I would also make CDs on CDR. So I would grab a bunch of songs digitally, but Andre, there was no music service system back then for you to get these songs digitally. Don't ask questions. And I would make my own CDs and I would put them in one of these <laughs> little, little, little plastic containers for the CDRs. So they, you know, they can keep them nice and clean. And then we would pop them into one of those five CD players, like the ones where you could random play, but it would play from any one of the five CDs. From my parties that I went to, I was a early digital DJ. And if you end up getting a bunch of CDs, you gotta buy one of these. <laughs> I'm serious, man. This is stuff that I found at Best Buy, like recently. A wave of just spaces to put your CDs. I had a lot of CDs, but I had an old car, so I could only play cassettes, a cassette adapter. So how this would work is, have a cassette, and you would have a little string that would come out, and you would plug that into your CD player, and then you would play your CD player in your car. The CD player was connected to this, the cassette would run, through your cassette player and play the music from your CD in the car. See, there it is. There's the cassette adapter and the plug. I guess I can plug into my disc man. <laughs> That'd be perfect. I mean, I don't have a cassette player in my car, but if I did, this is Bluetooth. This is Bluetooth of the 90s. If you had to take a bunch of advanced math classes like I did, you probably remember this. Uh, I forget the exact model that I had, but it was something similar to this. But it was one of the ones where you could do all the math problems and you also could make your own graphs. So those are always a thing that every student that I do had. I even found this. This is a Sony portable AM FM radio. Sometimes AM stations will play the audio of a sporting match, particularly for college games and sometimes even professional games. Find out which station it was on, sit down on a table and just sit there and listen to it. Could you imagine watching the, uh, the NBA Finals? <laughs> by looking at this and listening to it. How about the NCAA or the Super Bowl or the, you know, any of those. You can hear it, hear what's going on. Everyone gather around the radio. Look at it. There's the antenna so you can try to get better reception. But look at it, look at it. Look at that. And it even comes with little straps you can put it on your hand so you don't lose it. Now let's talk about your past. What is some of your early tech? Whether it's an early computer, early video game system, early movie, whatever you got your hands on that was fun and entertaining for you back in the day that's a little bit different from today. Let me know what you got going on in the comments. Thanks again to Best Buy for partnering with me on this video. And if you're a student looking for some technology and you're shopping at Best Buy, check out their student hub because sometimes their student hub will have special deals just for students so that you can make sure that your college dorm or your student room is toit. Subscribe to this channel, ring all the bells and whatnot. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000 and appreciate the technology you have today because it was definitely different back in the day, but also cool.